Today I'm going to go ahead and test these 3 8 digital torque wrenches to determine if one is actually better than the other. The cheapest being the Husky, 170, 275, and the Snap-on, $680. Husky comes in a blow molded case here, calibration sheet, operating instructions, 72 tooth ratchet mechanism, torque range 20 to 100 foot pounds. Made in Taiwan, lifetime warranty. Fixed head, rubber grip, pretty simple setup right here. We have the display, six buttons, your power, your units, your up and down, your mode, and your set button. Again, your units, you can cycle there between the five set and peak. If we hit the mode button, we have angle, peak angle, target torque alert. To adjust the torque setting, pretty straightforward. You hit the set, and then here you can adjust it up or down. Hit it again, it's gonna save that setting. Gear wrench, solid plastic case, plastic latches, torque wrench is actually in a foam insert, calibration certificate, and your operator's manual. 120 tooth flex head, steel grip, 20 to 100 foot pounds, main Taiwan, one year warranty. Same type of display with the six buttons there compared to the Husky. The only difference is the display is backlit a little bit different and we do have a battery indicator right there. Snap-on blow molded case. Of course the calibration certificate, operating instructions, 80 tooth flex head, rubber grip, five to 125 torque range, display with LED indicators on the side, and six buttons with the power button, units, up and down for adjustment, back button, and the lighting of the display. Units, again, your normal five. Hitting the back button will cycle you between torque and angle. Now with the snap-on, you do have a menu so to get to the menu, you gotta hold the back button. So when you're in the menu, you can actually set the head length. If you were to put an adapter on here, show just the data of the torque wrench, clear the data, cycle counter, language. In settings, we have more information, sleep timer, contrast. If you wanna hear a beep when you push the key, and also the battery type. So if you change this from alkaline to lithium, you can come in here. So let's go ahead and audit each one. Then we'll cycle them a thousand times, audit them again. New test bench, have an adjustable table to apply consistent load to the torque wrench. They're all gonna be running the same Energizer Max batteries. So we're gonna do 25, 50, and 100 foot pounds.
So here's the results before. Now the deviation from set point is the accuracy. Of course, the range below there is actually factoring in the tester, which is plus or minus 0.5%. But overall, in this testing of being plus or minus 2%, the Husky has failed. So I did a thousand cycles over on the weight bracket on the tractor like normal. So we're gonna go ahead and run the same test again, and then we'll go ahead and do angle. That is one thing that's nice. You have that cycle counter. You can see this torque wrench has 1,100 cycles on it right now. Same format in the table here. And again, yeah, Husky, even after a thousand cycles, didn't really show any difference, uh, still failed. So to test the angle accuracy, I've got a manual gauge, rundown bolt, because we have to apply 12.5 foot pounds to the torque wrench before it'll actually start reading an angle. So I'm gonna go to 90 three times. Right on 90. Ninety again. And again we are right at ninety. About eighty eight. Eighty nine. Eighty nine again. Ninety one. Ninety-two. Ninety-one. So here you have it, some interesting results. Now if you're looking at that plus or minus 2%, which all these are supposed to be, at least this Husky that I tested, that was not the case. Uh, if you're looking for something in this budget range, maybe a Quinn Craftsman, something like that, I'd say check out my other video there on the half inch digital torque wrenches. I'll leave the link below. If you're fine with 4%, you know, this, this would probably work. So that leaves the gear wrench and the snap on here, which yeah, from my tests are below that plus or minus 2%. Now the gear wrench does seem to be a quality torque wrench, but the only drawback is you don't have any indication on the sides of when you're getting close to that torque value. Yes, you have the handle vibration, whereas the snap-on, you do have these LED indicators here on each side, which help out in determining if you're at that desired torque. But you're paying a premium, you know, two and a half times the gear wrench. And I do like this black finish right here. I think that looks pretty good. Overall, I think DIY, I would go with the gear wrench here. You know, something you're gonna occasionally use, something like that. Heavy everyday use. Yeah, I don't like the price, but overall, I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna recommend the Snap-on. But hopefully we do get a 3.8 icon here sooner than later, and we'll put that to the test and see how it compares against this. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Again, I'll leave the links below to my other videos. You'll find the Quinn, Craftsman, Seda, the cheaper gear wrench, stuff like that. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on another one.